Do you wish you had the same collection as the guy whose house you're at this morning and you have a beanie on? You know, I let go of Star About the time I started discovering girls, I let go uh -huh. of Star Wars. But I will say, being in this place <laughs> brings back, cracks open a lot of my Look youth. I mean, how many times have I've walked around your house going, I had that, and I had that too. I remember that. I played with that. I have to keep saying, don't touch that. Don't, don't touch, touch that. it. Hey, do you mind if I share the bizarre thing you told me about our connection yesterday? Sure, please. All right, so back in the day, I used to do a kid show called Scratch, a teen show, where I used to set people up on dates. It was called Dateless and Desperate. One of the very first national people we put on that was Khalil Adric. How weird is that? So we set you out on a date with some young girl. Correct. Right. So as I recall, she went to a private Catholic school and you went to a private boys. And I did too, yeah. All right. But she's not the woman you're living with. Though. No. So I shouldn't have cracked that open. Oh, right. in the meantime, back to Star Wars. And stay on target. <laughs> stay, stay on, on target. target. I love this. <laughs> as a child, his mom bought you this Star Wars pop-up book. So you were a little kid. A little kid what playing with this. Wow. This is a little insensitive, like a pull tab for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Look, Obi-Wan Kenobi's happens? alive. Boom, he's dead. Oh, alive, oh dear. Dead. That's not nice. <laughs> over and over again. I probably did that a thousand times. All right, I'm going to give you uh, a test. I'm going to ask you if you have some stuff. Do you have uh, an R2-D2 telephone? Do you have the R2-D2 telephone? Telephone. Come on. Oh, right over here. It's not plugged in, but... That's okay. Phone home. Look at that. All right. Stop it. A lot. <laughs> hey, he just did his impression of me. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so you, I see you have a massive collection of the larger figures. Which do you have more of, the 12-inch figures or the three and a quarter? Well, displayed probably the 12 inch right now, but the three and the quarter, three and three quarters was probably what I really collect the most. And there's tubs of it in my sister's garage. Oh! This guy has an massive collection, garage. amazing collection. We're gonna show you a little bit more. Come back uh, at nine o'clock on ABC 10. You won't yeah. believe what he can't show you. We'll show you that a little <gasps> bit later on. Oh, may that's tell a tease. Us, may the force be with you and, and you, Khalil. Also always. with you. Do I say that? Hey, Mark, quick. quick. Quick um, commentary here. So we just got an email. Actually, Dina brought her phone over to me because we just received this. It's a woman who says, my 10-year-old daughter, Reese, has a huge Pez collection that's actually on display currently at the Folsom History Museum. Maybe a good segment. So this is what's happening this week, guys. If you have a huge collection, let us know. Maybe we'll send Mark out to get all geeked out with y'all. You like Pez, right? Yep. Right, Mark? I love Pez. Hey, do you have any Star Wars Pez? We got <laughs> there a big you one. go. I, I, I do, I do. Oh, hold on, just as we wrap it up, Star Wars Pez, oh! giant size, and we'll go look at Can that other know? collection. Back to you, Megan. That is such a good connection. We did not plan that, my friends. Thank you, Mark. All right, and thank you hey. to, let's see, Paige, who sent the email. We do appreciate you. So again, chime in, let us know. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Do you have a huge collection you want to show off? We're ready to tape it. And today 